And we're going to the carport this morning because the city of Dearborn was excited to debut its new logo, its new look. Yes, and after all of the work and putting this whole campaign together, it seems like the excitement didn't carry over to the community. Um, although the people who are complaining may not even live in Dearborn for all I we know. I think it looks Jason. nice. That's right. And regarding the prices, right? We're talking about the Bob Bob Barker prices, right? Yes. yes. Not that dreck that's on the air now. Oh, wow. Or the guy before him. It's getting a lot of hate on social media after a year long development process. The city of Dearborn unveiled a new logo this week. The city said nearly 2000 community members and business owners and more than 30 stakeholders gave feedback on the development of the logo. The goal was to unify Dearborn's assets under one brand in an effort to attract and keep top talent and increase property value. But the only unity we've seen so far is distaste for the new look. On the Local 4 Facebook page, Adam said should have left the old one tradition and history tell a story. Also reacting, well, we have this right here side by side with the, what is this, the old yeah. logo and the new logo. What do you guys think? I I personally like the new logo, but I feel like the old one has uh, a lot of it makes you. It makes it feel like this is a city like logo. Greenfield Village kind of thing here. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know the ties to Henry Ford and the home of the automobile. Now let's take a look at some other reactions. Looks like the waste management logo. Oh, <laughs> really? Do you think? I was thinking Caterpillar actually. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think it looks like in a second. I'm swiping. Don't worry <laughs> in the control room. I'm going. I'm going. There's huh. the waste management logo. No, just and some of the, the similar colors, but. For some, I, I'm stuck on Caterpillar with this, by the way. All right, uh, Marilyn Pelk says, all those people involved, and this is the best they could come up with. That's a shame. Mm. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Some people just don't like changes. Exactly. Yes, that is true. Okay, so one other thing. There was a certain look that had to do with Fairlane back in, like, 1976. I've a, I got a Fairlane feel from this. I have, and all the colors are the same. The Downtown Detroit Partnership logo. Okay. <laughs> It looks very similar to that. That between that and a cross between that and also the D and the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. Oh. And both of those agencies promote Detroit. <laughs> so maybe Dearborn maybe tied into a little bit of those. Two. Listen, I don't know. It, it works. It gets straight to the point. Dearborn. And we're talking about it. Yeah. More importantly, well, there, shout out to Dearborn. You go online. I don't recall where, but there is a logo uh, appraisal tool online and you can plug really? your logo in and they'll tell you whether it's a good logo or not. We did mm -hmm. it with Live in the D and they said we had a great logo for Live in the D. Well, because it's wonderful. a great show. The local four logo, not so bad either. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just surprised at your point that it took you guys a year to come up with that. Well, That's... it's an entire campaign to promote the city, its talent and all that it has to offer from business and activity. And so bravo to them. And it's nice that we're talking about it and don't let the haters out there deter yeah. you. It's, I'm, we're talking about it. So Absolutely. And a good reason for us to go to Dearborn today, right?